All right, folks, I'm going to do a little tutorial. Uh, I said I was going to do one yesterday in regards to my ARB twin air compressor. I'm going to show you where it is. I'm going to show you where the hookup is. I'm going to show you the connections, and I'm going to show you how well it works, you know, because I got a couple of uh, subscribers was asking me about it, and, and I'm going to show you in detail right now. So I'm setting everything up right now, and let me get uh, set up, and then I'll be back in a sec. All right, folks, so as you can see here, I have the uh, hair hose. I have the uh, tire gauge uh, to fill with the pressure regulator on it and I have the air sprayer here so that's what I use when I release the pressure on the uh, on the compressor so that it doesn't stay full with pressure and I'll show you how to do that as well uh, so anyway moving forward here we go as you can see this is my twin ARB air compressor this is it see it ARB twin tanks one here one here but it's all one unit because it's a twin now the connection of the wire of the hose is here right on the side of the unit now you can mount this unit this way or you can mount it vert flat I didn't have room to do it flat so I had to do it vertical on the side I made the connection here with my with my steel braided line on hose made the connection here with another hose coming around behind the unit all the way to the front behind the battery and down into my hood so that way I when I fill up my tire I don't have to come I don't have to come in my truck and open up the uh, the hood every time so I do it from the front here so here's the connection here see it that's the hose and that's where I put my connection here and I fill up my tires now as you can see it's connected here it's grounded right here this is my fuse that's connected to my power for my battery and if we come inside my truck, I don't know if you can see that well, the sun is so bright here. Okay, if you look right there, that's my ARB uh, compressor uh, switch. Now, the switch also has a fuse, which is behind my fuse panel back here. It's behind my fuse panel. And, has it, and it also has its own separate uh, fuse as well. And it's hardwired directly into my truck. I'm going to turn on my truck, I'm going to turn on the compressor, and I'm going to show you how the uh, components work. Give me two seconds. All right, my truck is on. As soon as I put the switch, the compressor is going to kick on. You're going to hear that. I heard that? Now the compressor is completely active. So I'm going to deflate this tire here, and I'm going to fill it. So I can show you how it works. Give me a second. Let me set that up. Okay, folks. Here it is. So I got this here. This is a... Uh, it's for the tire. It releases the air pressure. And it's automatically set to 17 pounds of pressure. Right now, my tire is at 40. Uh, so that I'm, I put this on. And it's going to release the air. Sorry about that. Okay, once I connect it, the air is going to start coming out. And when it's done, that pops out and it locks the air at 17 pounds of pressure. So, I'm not going to stand here and let it wait until it happens. I'm going to hold out and I'm going to show you something else. Alright, so I was letting out, while I'm letting out the air, air pressure, I'm going to make the connection with my hose. To my uh, my air supply. Uh, give me a second. I'll connect that, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So now, as you can see, my air hose is connected. All I gotta do is make the connection here for my gauge, and I'll do that now, and I'll show you how that looks like. Give me a second. All right. So now I made the connection with my pressure gauge. See, it pops out when the air works. See, it? it's working. So once I make the connection, after that's done uh, airing down my tires. I will connect the hose and I will show you how quickly it fills it up. Now, mind you, that's set to 17 pounds of pressure. That's a regulation for uh, off-road uh, beach 4x4 access. So as you can see, the tire is going down right now. And then as soon as it finishes airing down, I'll fill it up and I'll, and I'll live stream it and you'll see how it looks. Give me a sec. All right, folks. As you can see, the tire pressure regulator air down just finished... Uh, airing down so I'm going to take it out and I'm going to look at the tire pressure 
and I'm going to fill it with the ARB uh, compressor. I'm at uh, 15, I'm at 15, 16, 17 pounds of pressure right now. So I'm going to fill it to 40. As you can hear, the compressor's going off. It's constant air always. about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, give or take to fill each tire. I'm at uh, 30 right now, 10 more pounds to go. So I bit, did about just about a minute from 17 to 30. Now from 30 to 40, it's about another 30, 45 seconds, give or take. Almost there. Forty. And it stops every time. For demonstration purposes, I have the hood open and everything. But normally, when I'm off-roading or doing the four x four beach access, I don't open the hood at all. I don't need to because I have the air hose sticking out of the bumper, and all I have to do is just turn on my switch on the inside of my truck. I did this just to show you. Uh, where the component is, uh, the compressor, uh, just for illustration purposes only. So I think that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm going to show you when when the time comes. It's going to be another another month or so before we go to uh, the uh, outer beach. And I'm going to show you how I set up my truck for off-roading with all the uh, equipment that is necessary, uh, required, uh, according to New York State law, for the uh, 4x4 beach access. Anyhow, until the next video, folks. Please uh, like, share, subscribe. Thank you. All right, folks, the tire is full. Uh, I'm going to show you how I forgot to tell you about the, uh, the compressor. Give me one second. Let me put the uh, gauges away. All right, so I have to turn the switch off so that I can air, air down the compressor. So I turned it off. And I'm going to connect my air sprayer here so that I can air out the uh, compressor here. So give me a second. I need, two, I need three hands for this, unfortunately. Give me a second. Got to make the connection right here to this. See it? All right. I made the connection. Now I'm going to take the air out of the compressor. And that's it. Done. All right, folks, thank you again. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Jamie's World. Out.